friends and neighbors, that's a brief demonstration of how I play Wild Bill Jones on a six string guitar or a six string banjo. I don't have a six string banjo, so I'm showing you on the guitar. I learned this tune from George Gibson of Knott County, Kentucky. George will either play it on a guitar, he has a nice arch top guitar, a Gibson arch top guitar. He likes to keep tuned this way. He also has a, I believe it's a, I want to say it's a Vega guitar banjo that he'll tune this way as well. I've discussed how this is set up in other videos, so if you look up like Clifton Hicks Guitar Secrets, uh, you'll find that video where I kind of go over this information. Um, but quickly, before we get into all that, I'll direct you to this link over here. If you'd like to support my work and you'd like to have access to the tab for this song that I'm about to show you how to play, uh, hit this link up here. That'll take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks for a very modest monthly contribution. It's less than you'd pay for, for a good beer in a bar or a, or a, or a good cup of coffee in a, in a fancy coffee shop or something. So uh, please do support us there. I hope you will. All right, um, so first things first, what tuning am I in? I'm actually tuned all the way up to D-A-D, G-A-D on this old 1960s harmony guitar. Tuned all the way up there. Uh, incidentally, George Gibson gave me this guitar um, as a gift, so I am, I'm a hanging on to it. She's, got, she's not perfect, but it's a nice guitar, and I like it mostly because of the person who gave it to me. Uh, but anyhow, so how do we play this piece of music? I like to, one more thing I need to mention. You'll notice, take a look at this sixth string. You notice how my sixth string is skinnier than the fifth string? And you're supposed to have a, a great big whopper of a fat sixth string on a guitar. This is something I learned from George Gibson too. He told me to take an old worn out fourth string either from an old set of guitar strings or an old banjo wound fourth string and run that in your sixth string slot. So instead of having that big fat um, bass sixth string, you have a smaller sixth string that lends itself more to a thumb string. So the way that I play, uh, so far I don't believe I note this sixth string at all when I'm playing and this tuning and I always pick two finger. You can down pick um, overhand claw hammer this damn thing like you might see my I think uh, Molly Tuttle is kind of uh, uh, she's this professional musician gal I've seen videos of her like claw hammering a guitar you can do that um, it's basically the same thing I prefer to two finger pick it it's a little easier for me um, so that that's one piece of advice I'll give you there this is also going to help you if you get into the I forget the actual exact tuning on that but there's an open G guitar tuning that Roscoe Holcomb used a lot and uh, there's a great story that uh, John Cohen told me before he passed away. The first time he ever met Roscoe Holcomb, he handed Roscoe his guitar, and Roscoe went to retuning it. And when Roscoe got to that sixth string, he went to tune it up all the way to G or something, I believe. Uh, Cohen says he just twisted that sixth string up. <laughs> and he said he just thought for sure it was going to burst. But it didn't. Um, but this is something that George Gibson, I believe, developed to get around that. You use a skinnier six string and you can jack it all the way up to G, no problem. Okay, shut up, Cliff. How do we play the piece of music? So, your sweet spot on this, bear with me, y'all. I'm a banjoist, not a guitarist. But your sweet spot on this is I like to hold my left trigger finger on the third string at the second fret. Gives you this neat little. Um, the other thing you're going to do is your ring finger is going to sometimes come down on the second string at the third fret. And your middle finger is going to sometimes come down on, um, what is that, the fourth and the fifth string at the third fret. So you get these, I think it's one chord, two chord, three chord, four chord. So it's a four chord piece of music, I guess you might say. You're just kind of moving around. So I start off, um, let's do it like the songster method. Let's try to learn it as if we're going to learn it from scratch. So you know the song. How do you want to pick it on a stringed instrument? It's the same on a guitar as it is for the banjo. I went out on one day. I went out. So you already know you're kind of starting at the lower end of your vocal register. That should tell you you're going to be on this bass string, this fifth string. So how do I get I went out on one day? So all I'm 
doing there is I'm doing two hard chokes on that fifth string. No, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm noting that fifth string, doing a hard choke on it. Then I'm hitting that fourth string open. Then I'm doing two hard chokes on that fourth string. Then I'm playing that third string open. Fourth string noted again, then fourth string open. Okay, bear with me. So that, that gives you, I went out on one day. I went out on one day. Let's repeat that. Just a rambling holiday. Now, next part is when I met up with that wild Bill Jones. So you know you're going to walk it up when I met up. And you're going to walk it back down with that wild Bill Jones. So you're going to walk it all the way up and walk it all the way down. with that wild Bill Jones. Now the little instrumental runs in between are really nice and George, I got lifted those directly from George Gibson's picking. I won't walk you through the instrumental runs because I already showed you the fingering that you use for this whole song. It's all either going to be this, it's going to be this, or it's going to be this, or it's going to be this. All you're doing, you're, you're not coming up here doing anything, you're not changing your shapes, you're, it's just this one chord shape. The other little instrumental run is also kind of a high part that you don't sing to. And then I'm coming to the open first string. You gotta come up with your own little roll. Friends and neighbors, I think I showed you how I play that piece of music, shared with you some, some more guitar secrets and a little bit of historical information there about John Cohen and Roscoe Holcomb's first meeting in, in uh, eastern Kentucky in the 1950s. Uh, blah, blah, blah. See you around. Thanks for looking. <laughs>